Uh, what we're seeing on the Polish-Belarusian border right now is uh, largely an artificial crisis that is the creation of the Belarus regime. Uh, for the last several months, uh, Belarus has facilitated the arrival of uh, refugees from Afghanistan, from the Middle East. Uh, it's loosened its visa regulations um, and increased the number of flights uh, so that they can, they can actually get uh, from their home countries uh, to uh, Belarus and then are facilitating their uh, arrival in the country uh, towards the uh, EU border. What happened is it started as a trickle over the summer and primarily going into Lithuania has really now become a flood in the last several weeks. Um, and we're seeing much more attention on this because uh, we're now entering the winter. So the humanitarian conditions for these uh, migrants is becoming much more uh, of a challenge. Uh, Belarus is doing this largely because of the serious downturn in relations between the European Union and Belarus, which uh, began a little over a year ago after the Belarusian uh, elections, the fraudulent elections, and the Bel Belarus, the Lukashenko's regime, subsequent crackdown uh, on the political opposition and civil society. The European Union has uh, imposed sanctions and worked to isolate uh, the Lukashenko regime. Uh, and the countries that border uh, Belarus in the European Union have also provided uh, refuge um, and sanctuary to large numbers of the Belarusian opposition and civil society. They've become hotbeds of the Belarusian uh, opposition. So in many ways, this is a way in which the Lukashenko regime is trying to punish uh, the European Union. Uh, well, we've seen this uh, authoritarian states use this before. Um, uh, several years ago, uh, uh, Russia helped facilitate uh, the, tra uh, the transportation of Afghan migrants uh, across Russia, across Central Asia, to the Finnish uh, border during a time of tension uh, between Russia and Finland. Um, we are not seeing, uh, it's not clear uh, today that there's a direct role uh, of the Russian government uh, in this, uh, but uh, President Putin and other senior leaders are certainly providing some diplomatic backing uh, to, to to Belarus uh, in this uh, dispute, um, and it actually serves uh, Russia quite well. Uh, the more isolated Belarus is, uh, the closer um, uh, its connections with Russia will be, um, and uh, the fact that Poland is increasing the troop presence along this border just helps Russia inflate this, this domestic sense of threat inside uh, the Russian Federation and its uh, neighbors. Uh, sadly, the EU does not really have all that many tools it can use uh, uh, to push back at, at Belarus. They certainly could put more sanctions on, they certainly could contribute to, the, to, to enhance the isolation uh, of Belarus, but that could very well inflame uh, the situation as opposed to alleviate it. Uh, we are seeing um, uh, several EU leaders, including Angela Merkel, try to reach out to Russian President Putin uh, in the hopes that he might be able to de-escalate that. That does not seem to be working uh, very well right now. What I think the EU really needs to do is it needs to live up to its humanitarian obligations and make sure that these people are taken care of uh, and provide asylum to those uh, that are eligible for it.